guys, Brian here at 3TR, and I got another episode of the People's Questions, episode 130. Now, in the spirit of Comic-Con weekend, I decided to pop out some Batman Arkham Asylum, and I gotta say, we got a really massive episode, because I think we got over 40 questions here, so I think it's time we jump right into them. But the first two coming from GSS765, and you want to know, have I ever watched Cloverfield or Fight Club, and if so, what are my thoughts on them? Well, uh, I've never actually seen Cloverfield because I'm not really a big fan of the whole found footage monsters destroying New York type of movies. However, with Fight Club, uh, all I can say about it is the first rule about Fight Club is that you don't talk about Fight Club. But it was a pretty awesome film, and for some reason they want to do a second one. Um, really have no idea how you would even make a sequel to Fight Club, but um, hopefully we can get some of the old cast members back. Next question is, have I played Tale Tales Walking Dead series? If so, what are my thoughts? Uh, no, GS, I have never played the Walking Dead game. I have not played uh, A Wolf Among Us. I'm not really a big fan of Tale Tales games. They just don't work for me. They're just kind of boring. I mean, I know they may have interesting stories, and, you know, that's what I value most, but, you know, I need a little action to get the blood pumping. It can't just be subtle the entire way through. The next question comes from Hall 147 or sorry, 141, sorry. And you want to know, do I think exclusive content makes a difference such as more playtime on Assassin's Creed PlayStation 4? Uh, well, Muhal, I don't, I, I think to some people it makes a difference because some people want the exclusive content where they want to play something before other gamers you know, it's always that notion of, you know, you want, you want to be the first ones to get to play the new content, but uh, I don't really think it matters in the long run, because when all's said and done, all this content eventually gets available on the other consoles. It's just a matter of time, so I think it just matters in the short time, but not in the, uh, you know, long term. Next ten questions come from Elijah Sweetie, and you want to know, do I get Game Informer magazines? Uh, well, Elijah, I used to, uh, but I don't anymore. Now I think they're doing their magazines all online, so that's usually how I keep up with them. Next question is, do I like music with a lot of screaming? Uh, if you're talking about, like, metal, uh, I don't, I don't mind screaming in my music as long as it's not the entire song. I, I mean, I, something like Old School Lincoln Park, like Chester used to do, like, he had, like, moments where he was screaming and others where he was just... You know, and, and normal tone, stuff like that, I, I usually like. The next question is, what are my thoughts on Thor being a female from now on? Uh, well, I've never actually been a big fan of Thor, so I don't really care what they do with the character. They could make him a woman, a black woman, a Chinese man, a, an Amish person. I don't really care what they do with Thor. The next question is, what are my thoughts on Avengers 2? Uh, well, at first I was never a big fan of Avengers 1, but over the course of time I kind of ended up sort of liking it, so... Uh, from what I can tell, they're just going to repeat the same thing. Uh, Tony's going to accidentally build Ultron. Ultron's going to make an army of robots. And then you're going to have the Avengers fighting off another giant army of CGI characters. So it's pretty much going to be the same thing as the first one. Your next question is, what are my thoughts on the future of Marvel? Uh, I don't really read Marvel comics all that much, so I really could care less what Marvel does with its future. Your next question is, have I ever broken the law? And if so, what did I do? And if... I felt comfortable telling. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. I uh, can't really think of any moments where I intentionally broke the law. I mean, unless accidentally, you know, not stopping at a stop sign while I was learning how to drive counts, then I guess that would be considered breaking a law, I guess, but on accident. Next question is, have I ever snuck into a movie? Oh, you mean theater hopping. Uh, no. I have never theater hopped despite the fact that I've been tempted to. Like, if I go pay for a movie, I think it's going to be good, and then like 30 minutes in, I realize it's going to be just a terrible movie, so I want to get up and just sneak into another film. I've been tempted to do that, but no, I'm usually pretty honorable when it comes to my movie theater experiences. If I pay for a movie, I plan to see it all the way through. Except for one instance where I actually walked out of the movie like five minutes in, but heck, that's a story for another dime. Next question is, what is my favorite animated kids movie? You know, I really can't think of any right now. I, it would have to be a Disney movie. I would really have to sit down and think about that. And what is my least favorite animated movie? Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe some of the later Pokemon films, I guess. I mean, I don't know. 
Pokemon movies 1 and 2 and 3 I thought were okay. I saw those in theaters and then when they started getting released to DVD, I think they kind of just went downhill from there and that was kind of when I walked away from Pokemon. Next question is, have I ever been outside the United States? If so, where? Uh, well, Elijah, I was actually born outside the United States. I was actually born in the United Kingdom, so I'm actually kind of happy that I actually still have two citizenships. So if I ever, you know, get tired of being an American, I could just fly over to the United Kingdom and become officially British. So I guess that counts. But since then, I, I since moving here, like, 20-something years ago, I've yet to really leave the country. Uh, the next three questions come from Zach Jaime, and you want to know, what is the scariest moment of my life? Um... Scariest moment. Uh, well, I guess scary was I was a kid. Uh, I was hanging at the park, and you know how some jungle gyms have that like under section of each set of the jungle gym. Well, what happened was I was like just there's a bunch of wood chips on the ground too. I was under this section of the jungle gym, and for some reason there were ants like hanging from the ceiling, and I didn't see them, and next thing I know, I'm, like, in a lot of pain, and apparently they dropped onto me, so I was, like, covered in ants, and, like, literally two people, like, had shirts, they took their stairs, and they were just swiping them off of me, so, like, I guess that was pretty scary, so I was, like, so getting bitten a lot as a kid as ants is, a, I guess that would be pretty scary. Uh, oh, what do you know? A question that uh, I didn't answer earlier on, but I'm gonna have to now. Your Zach's Jaime's next question is, have I ever walked out of the movie theater on a movie, and what movie? Uh, yes, I have. I've only done it once. Um, it was for the movie Salt, and I feel bad about it, because this actually was, like, one of the worst experiences I've ever had going to the movie theaters, aside from another film, which I will not talk about. But, uh, I was, when I, I was dating a girl, and she wanted to go see the movie Salt, and I didn't want to go see the movie Salt, because I had already seen it and I didn't like it, and... This, this was the part that really kind of pissed me off even more. It's like, I paid for three people because she wanted to bring her younger brother to go see it. And literally, like, five minutes in, I just walked out. And I left him there. So I pretty much had to spend, like, an hour and a half just walking around a casino. And I guess, I guess, I guess that's the only time I've ever actually walked out of a film. And I felt bad because I paid for three people and only two people went to go see it. I didn't even bother. I didn't even think about going back and getting my money back or going to another movie. Next question is, if I had to eat one thing for the rest of my life, what would it be? Oh, unquestionably, Pandas Express's Orange Chicken. I can, I, 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 be honest, that's actually a movie tradition of mine. If I ever go see a movie by myself, I always go to Panda Express and get a, like a box of orange chicken. That way it helps me think before I uh, review every movie. So, you no, know, that's kind of a little insight behind the scenes uh, knowledge about uh, what I just did before I started filming my movie reviews. The next set of questions come from Ace Arcadia, and you want to know, are there any characters outside of the Mortal Kombat universe that I would like to see in Mortal Kombat 10? Uh, well, let's see, they added Freddy in the last game, so I wouldn't mind them putting in, um, Jason. Uh, let's see. It's kind of hard to think, because if, if it's in an M-rated game, it would have to be an M-rated character. So, uh... Wow, that's actually a tough one. I really can't. Maybe, maybe, maybe at Dante from Capcom from Devil May Cry. That I think he'd be okay. Um, maybe, maybe Rain from Blood Ring. I think she. Could, I think she. I think she could have a pretty cool uh, set of moves and would have a pretty cool fatality. And your next question is: How impressed am I with the Destiny beta? Well, I'll actually be sure, well, as soon as the beta is completely over, I'll be sure to uh, upload a um, review on it, but I'm actually enjoying the uh, the beta quite much so far. Next question is, what is the best first-person shooter game I've ever played? Um, Nintendo 64 is GoldenEye, hands down. Ne next time is, when was the last time I was let down at the movies? Um, Transcendence. Uh, that was, like, produced by Christopher Nolan, and as some of you know, Christopher Nolan is my favorite director, and he has been since even before the Batman Begins, so no, it's not, I'm not one of those fans that just started liking Christopher Nolan, just because he did Batman, I was a fan of his long before that, but I was really disappointed, because that really looked like it was going to be a pretty interesting movie, it had an interesting premise, it looked like Johnny Depp was coming back to form, and it just, it just fell apart real fast, and it was painful to watch. And your last question is, will I go see Ghostbusters in theaters for the 30th anniversary? 
Oh, sure. If I can actually find a theater near me that's playing it, then I'll be sure to go um, watch it. Next four questions come from Thou Napping Sniper, and you want to know, what do I want to see in Uncharted 4 in terms of story? I want to see Nathan Drake die. Bottom line, I want to see him die. Next question is, how do I think Drake's personality will change? Well, that's really, well, his personality, well, he hasn't really changed at all. I mean, that's kind of why I didn't really like him all that much in Uncharted 3. I mean, he was just an asshole of a character. I mean, all the supposed development that happens in these games is like completely erased by the time he gets to the beginning of the next game. And I think that's kind of my problem with the Uncharted franchise in general. It's like, Jake is, a, I mean, there's even a moment in the game where Sully says, you know, why are we still doing this? I mean, it just causes more problems, and Drake is just being a total asshole to him. I mean, that was really the point where I just start really disliking Drake. Next question is, if I had to pick 10 DC heroes to have their own video game series, who would they be and why? Oh, God. You know, uh, wow, this, this, this deserves its own video. But to throw off a few, let's see, Wonder Woman, Superman, a good Superman game. Maybe another Wolverine game. Uh, in terms of why, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'd just be fun or something. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Pick a lot of... I, you know, I'm going to have to save this for, for its own separate video. I, I don't like... It, it's really difficult for me to do, like, top ten videos in the middle of people's questions. I really like to sit down and think about these. The next question is, will I pick up Division and will I play with my subs? Absolutely. If any of you guys are gonna get Division as well, please let me know, and maybe you can friend me on uh, my PlayStation, and then when the game's out, we can play together, and if, if you want, I can actually record some of the footage and upload it on the channel. The next three questions come from JDS4696, and you want to know, do I think they will remake the original Metal Gear? Uh, actually, I heard that they were actually doing that. Um, it was actually being done by an independent company. It was just going to be like a 3D version of the old style of Metal Gear. I don't think it was going to be like a true reboot or remastering. It was just, they were just going to make update the look of it, which, you know, that, that sounds like a lot of fun. The next question is, do I think we will ever see Dante's father Sparta in his own spin-off game based on the Devil May Cry franchise? I really would like to see a story about Sparta. Uh, we've spent like four games talking about Sparta, and we've never actually seen the legend of Sparta itself. So to actually see what he did in order to become the legendary Dark Sparta, I think that would be a great story. Next question is, do I think Destiny will be great or excellent? Uh, I'm sure it'll be a great game. I just have a couple of concerns, which I'll be sure to talk about in my uh, Destiny beta review when uh, the beta is finally offline. Your next question comes from Frankie He, and you wanted to know, if I had one video game series to go on forever, which one would I choose? Mario. Gotta go for the classic one, Mario. Mario is the greatest video game icon in history, so you, 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 you can't kill off Mario. He's got to go on forever. The next question comes from Gunner Drake, and you want to know, do I think they should ever make a Metal Gear Solid movie? I think I told, I think I uh, responded to you this in a, another video in the comment section. I told you I was going to do a separate video on it, so uh, uh, keep your eyes open for that, because I will get that video up soon. The next set of questions come from the Reganter. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. And you net want to know what movies do I think are going to be in Phase Three of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, they already announced a bunch of them. We know Ant-Man. Uh, there are talks of doing maybe an Iron Man Four. There's going to be a Thor movie. There's going to be a Captain America Three. There's going to be. Uh, we've heard of Doctor Strange. There's obviously going to be another Avengers movie. There might be another Ga uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Uh, they might add a Black Panther in there, a Miss Marvel, a Black Widow. A, a lot of the movies that are probably going to be in the uh, Phase 3 Cinematic Universe have already been announced, or if Comic-Con's still going on, which it should be by the time this video is up, they should be announcing them, like, the next couple of days anyway. The next question comes from Giovanni Prasado. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, and you, and you want to know, do I think the Fantastic Four reboot is going to suck? Um, from what I've heard, I don't think it's going to suck. I just don't think it's going to be very unexpected. I think a lot of people are going to be expecting one thing, and they're going to get something entirely different. So I don't think it's going to suck, but hopefully it'll be better than the last two Fantastic Four movies that we've had. The next ten questions come from Mark Main, and you want to know, do I know the TV show Smallville, and if so, what was my favorite season? 
Uh, no, I never actually watched uh, Smallville. I mean, as much as a Superman fan as I am, I'm not really a big fan of the, you know, what was he before or she was Superman-like stories. Next question is kind of hard. I'm not sure if you typed this in wrong, but you, from what I can tell from your question, you want to know, well, did, was I one of the people that wanted James Franco in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? Uh, it would have been nice to see him, and he did actually have a little bit of a cam cameo if you actually saw the whole film in that one scene, but... Uh, uh, I don't think he needed to be in this one because the story has always been about um, Caesar and so uh, James Franco's character was really just meant as a tool in order for us to see Caesar's development. The next question is do I only watch wrestling in general or when it comes to like Wrestlemania season? Uh, usually like Wrestlemania season like I, I'll usually watch or review like the top four pay-per-views like unless you guys don't want me to like like I'll review Wrestlemania Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, and usually Survivor Series. I mean, SummerSlam's coming up, so I'm not sure if you guys want me to do a review for that or give a predictions video for that if you want. The next question is, where's my favorite type of gum? Uh, I don't chew gum, so I don't have one. Next question is, would I like to see a Mask 3? No. Mask 2 was stupid. Or Son of the Mask, whatever the hell it was called. Next question is, if I were on an island, how long do you think I would last before I die or help comes? Uh, well, that's kind of a hard question. Um, well, if there's no water, I mean, I don't want to drink salt water and go insane, but if there's no water, I'll be dead in like a week, so hopefully help knows I'm, help arrives, hopefully within a week and I'll survive. Next question is, am I a fan of the TV show Supernatural? No, uh, not really interested in that show at all. Next question is, who do who would I want Rocksteady to go after, after, wait a second, let me re-say this. Who do I want Rocksteady to go after next, after Batman? So I guess you're asking, like, what superhero do I think they should do? Go for Superman. We need a really definitive good Superman game. And from what I've heard, Superman is actually going to be in the next Batman game. Maybe as like a, as a cameo, but they are going to acknowledge that Superman does exist in this world. And if that's so, then I think that's a good starting off point to um, go into a Superman franchise. Next question is, should Rocksteady do a DC Arkham Universe instead of having Batman established? Oh, wait a second. Should Rocksteady do a DC Arkham Universe already having Batman established? Uh, no, there's there's no need to. Um, I think the Arkham Universe is pretty much well defined. I mean, I think they're about to unleash like a an animated movie. I think it's got its own comic book series. So I think the universe has already really been established at this point. And your last question is, what do I think of your idea for the mass prequel? Now, I didn't write the whole thing down, but I remember what you said in your in the comments. And pretty much, you wanted to use Loki as Tom Hiddleston's Loki and say that he was the creator of the mask and you actually want to have it connect to the Marvel Universe. That will never happen, and that is ridiculous. I mean, I understand that, you know, we're not supposed to take... The, the the Marvel movies very seriously, but like this would be just flat out comedy. And how would the how does that work? I mean, if this is supposed to, is, is when is this going to take place? Like, is this going to take place after the Avengers? Because it's it's going to be weird to have a story that takes place after the Avengers, yet in the mass that is clearly several years or maybe even a decade and a half before the events of the Avengers. So it's you'd have a bit of a time paradox issue there. And the last few questions come from a newbie, and I'm sorry if I butcher your name, but you go by the name of Bol Egia Bolagun. I hope I said that right. Please correct me in the comments if I got it wrong. And you want to know, could I do a video ranking my top five Final Fantasy games? Okay, I'll get it up. Your next question is, would I ever consider playing a game made by Tail Tail Tail? No, uh, I said earlier, I'm not really a big fan of their style of games, so I know I wouldn't. And your last question is, could I do a video explaining on why FF13 almost made me quit gaming? You know, I've been trying to do one for years, and I actually have like an old video of mine that is still my PlayStation 3 that I never uploaded. It's like a 40-minute rant, but the problem is, it, is that the, every time I talk about it, I usually end up getting emotional, and I'm not sure if I want you guys to see me in that t kind of state, but uh, I do have a pre-planned video a time period where I do want to get that video up for a special occasion so uh, if you wait a little bit if you wait a bit longer with the channel then I promise I'll uh, 
I'll, I'll get it up. And if some of you guys are really, really curious as for what video that is, please tell me in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to send you a private message as exactly what number video that rant will be. Now that, those are the questions you guys sent for this week. I would like to thank all of you guys for making this probably unquestionably the longest episode of People's Questions that we've had in a very long time. And if you guys have any questions you would like me to answer in episode 131, please type them in the comments down below, but make sure you get them into me by for next Wednesday before I start filming this next episode. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I will see you next time.